This unit involves one-dimensional motion, which is motion in a straight line. That is, straight up and down, or straight left and right. We aren't talking about any type of curved motion at this time. In order to get started, we need to know what we mean by a scalar quantity versus a vector quantity. A scalar quantity has a magnitude, which is a number with a unit. Mass is a scalar quantity. Temperature is a scalar quantity. There's simply a number with a unit associated with it. A vector quantity has magnitude, like a scalar does, but it also has a direction. Weight is an example of a vector. 300 pounds downward, for example. Force, pulling on a rope with 480 newtons to the right. Notice that a vector always has to have a direction. North, south, east, west, to the left, upwards, downwards, etc. Distance, which I symbolize by lowercase d, is how far an object travels. Displacement, which I symbolize delta d, is the straight line difference between the starting and the ending points. Distance depends on the path taken. Displacement is independent of the path. Displacement simply accounts for where you start and where you stop. For example, if we have a map for a bicycle race, the distance that is traveled is, let's say, 45 miles. And you can see that there's a curved sort of path. The displacement, however, just takes into account where we start and where we finish. So the displacement for this example would be something like 23 miles east. A displacement delta d is easily found if we are given two x or y coordinates. We simply subtract the two in the order final minus initial and instead of delta d we might write delta x or delta y. If we're crossing a bridge for example there's a coordinate on each side and if we take x2 minus x1 we can find the displacement delta x which would in this case be some number of meters to the right or some number of meters in a particular direction. If we're raising this flag it started at a lower coordinate y1 and ends up at a higher coordinate y2 so the displacement would be so many meters up and we would find that number of meters by subtracting y2 from y1. So delta d, delta y, delta x they all mean the same essential thing, displacement. To show that delta D could mean left, right, up, down, north, south, east, west, etc. motion, I like to represent it as delta D with the double arrow vectors. Equations to calculate displacement are valid for any direction, up and down, left and right, and so on. The starting and ending coordinates by themselves are not enough information to find distance unless the object goes in a straight line only and does not reverse direction at all. In other words, the distance and the displacement will have the exact same magnitude if an object travels only in a straight line and doesn't reverse direction. If the object doesn't travel in a straight line, distance and displacement will have different magnitudes. If the object travels in a straight line but goes in the opposite direction for a while, say to the left, and then goes back to the right, it's still traveling along a line, but the distance and the displacement magnitudes will not agree. Sometimes we're given coordinates in problems, sometimes we're given displacements or distances. For example, this tripodometer simply gives a distance. It doesn't give coordinates. Mile markers are more like coordinates in order to figure out a distance or perhaps a displacement from mile markers you have to have two mile markers and you end up subtracting the smaller from the larger. Displacements are reported with a direction. A term like how far though refers to a distance not a displacement so we don't need a direction in our answer.